Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will use the new VDM brush picker add-on now available in Blender and also create our own VDM sculpting brush. Vector displacement maps, VDM in short, allows to save sculpting data in an image which we can reuse to add details quickly. For example, like hair shapes, ears, nose or anything else that can be sculpted. Please make sure you are using the latest Blender version 3.6. So let's start. First of all, go to Edit menu, open Preferences. In the Add-on section, look for VDM Brush Baker. Click the checkbox to enable the add-on. Next, press N to open the side panel. Here in the Tools section, you will see the VDM Brush Baker add-on listed. There are some settings available in the add-on. Click the Create Sculpting Plane button. And a plane object will be created in the scene. The name of this object will be Grid. If we look in the Modifier panel, a Multi-Res modifier is automatically added with two levels subdivision. Press N to close the side panel. Let's start sculpting our first VDM brush. Switch to Sculpt mode. It is better to sculpt in the middle part of the plane and avoid sculpting on the edges. Otherwise, we may get some distortion issues during baking of our VDM sculpting texture. I will select the snake hook brush, press F to make the size bigger and just in the center click and drag up to create a sculpting detail. Make the brush size smaller and add a few more details. You don't have to make the exact same shapes, make any other detail as you like. One thing to keep in mind is that during sculpting, don't push the details too much high from the base as it can result in mesh topology getting distorted at some places. The remesh feature to clean up the topology is not available due to multi-res modifier being used here. Now exit the sculpt mode, right click the object and select smooth shade. Make sure to save your file here at this point. We are going to bake the sculpting details to an image. Press N to open the side panel. In the name property, give any name you would like to use. Click the render and create VDM brush button. This process may take a few seconds. Once finished, you will see a message on the status bar the background color of the name property will turn red, meaning a texture was generated and saved. If we go in the texture panel, we can view the texture that was created. The VDM texture will be something like red, green, blue in color, depending on the sculpting details. This texture will be saved in the same folder where you have saved your blend file. You will see output VDM folder created. Inside will be the VDM texture in EXER format. Now we will use this for sculpting. I will turn off the visibility of the plane object on which we sculpted our details. Shift A and add a UV sphere. If we look at the wireframe of this object, you can see this is quite low resolution. So we need to increase the mesh resolution to properly project our VDM details. In the modifier panel, add a subdivision modifier with four levels. Make sure to apply it as well. Just don't go over three or four level subdivisions. Otherwise you may experience slow performance. Right click and select smooth shade. Switch to Sculpt mode. Select the draw brush on the top corner. Press N to open the side panel to see the brush properties. Go to Texture setting 
and click the box and select the VDM texture which we have created. Next in the mapping property change the type to area plane. Turn on vector displacement. In the stroke method change the type to anchored. I will turn off the fast navigate setting from the top right corner so our model does not switches to low resolution during viewport movement. Now if we click and drag over the object we can see there is some sculpt detail being generated but it is still not looking correct. To fix this right click and change the brush strength to 1. Now click and drag. You will see the full VDM texture sculpt detail generated on our object. This is based on the same sculpting shape which we did on the plane. It is better to keep the brush size big and add bigger sculpt details. You can also use the symmetry option to generate details on both sides. Shift smooth to make the shapes more cleaner. One thing you may notice, if we try to make a very small VDM detail, it may not look correct. So it is better to use bigger brush size to build up shapes of your model or use the remesh feature and sculpt them again. If the base mesh topology is not clean or distorted, then the VDM sculpting result at that place may also look distorted. You can see there are some issues on the topology. In such a case, it is better to either use remesh feature before and then sculpt or just sculpt at a different place where the mesh topology is clean. And this is the overall workflow on how to use VDM brush sculpting feature in Blender. You can create sculpting details like ears, eyes, scales or anything and create VDM textures for them. For example, I have sculpted another simple shape and generated the VDM texture for it. I am using here for creating smooth round shapes. Holding control during sculpting will make the VDM detail result go inside rather than outside. Use other brushes alongside to build up the shapes of your model. You can also change the stroke method from anchor to drag dot or dot. Depending on the size of the brush, it will create a fixed size detail. I am holding the control key to make the small circle shapes go inside. I have provided some VDM brushes that I have made. You can download and use them if you like to. Add them as a new image through the texture panel. Link is in the description. Some additional things to note for using VDM brushes. Everything needs to be sculpted on the default VDM plane that is generated from the add-on. You cannot join other objects like cylinders or meshes to this plane as it changes the UV map which results in incorrect VDM texture generation. You can generate multiple sculpting planes and make separate details on them. In case you need to bring back the drop brush back to its original default settings, use the reset feature or make a copy of the VDM brush to save it. Use the remesh feature as needed to clean up your object's topology if VDM details look low resolution during sculpting. Keep in mind if you are using a multi-res modifier, it will not be available. You can use the override button in the add-on if you want to save new sculpting changes to an existing VDM brush. And this completes the tutorial. I hope you find it useful in some way. If you like to see more content in the future, then please consider subscribing, give this video a like and turn on notification bell. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.